In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Swiss knife. Well, except for the fact that the Swiss knife is nothing but a USB flash drive with multiple operating systems in it. And I know what you guys are thinking, but wait, it's not magic, it's just been toy. Let's get it. This video is sponsored by us, so if you like our content and would love to support the channel, please head over to teesprings.com forward slash stores forward slash LMTechHD or click on the first link in the description box below to be a part of the Wemo squad. Thanks. What's up guys, I'm Ryan from LM Tech HD and on this channel we do a lot of tutorials slash tech reviews and giveaways so if you're new here, consider subscribing and also be sure to click the bell notification so you get notified whenever we upload a new video. Thanks. Okay guys, in order for us to create the multi-bootable USB drive, we need to download Ventoy. Now Ventoy is an open source tool to create bootable USB drive for ISO, WIM, IMG and VHDX power format I guess. So with Ventoy, you could copy multiple operating systems into one USB drive and Ventoy gives you a boot menu to select whichever one you want to install or work with. So basically with Ventoy, you don't have to format the drive over and over again, you just have to copy the ISO so far to the Ventoy drive and you are golden and remember you could copy as many files as you want as long as you have enough space in the drive all right guys let's get started all right now open your browser and go to ventoy.net or click on the second link in the description of this video on the landing page you can see the latest version of Ventoy a brief description as well as its features now in the navigation bar you can click on tested ISO to see all the operating systems that has been tested as well as other image files with Ventoy. Alright with that out of the way let's go back to the navigation bar and click on downloads. Now at the time of recording this video the latest version is 1.0.41 so I'm gonna click on the windows version. Now when you click on that it will take you to the github page. So scroll down and look for the Windows version again and click on it to start the download. Once the download is complete, go to the file location and extract it. Alright, before you proceed, go to this PC and hook up the flash drive you want to use and make sure you've backed up your data because the flash drive will be formatted later on. Alright, go back to the Ventoy folder and double click on the Ventoy setup to launch the application. Now on the device, select the drive you want to use. In this case, I'm going to be using the 32GB SanDisk Cruiser Blade flash drive. So I'm going to select that and click install. Now it will tell you the disk will be formatted. So if you have important files in the drive, please back them up. And if you don't, then click yes to continue. Click yes again and let it do its thing. Once it is done, click OK and close the application and go to this PC. Now you can see that the drive has been renamed to Ventoy. Alright, next thing we want to do is to copy the ISO files of the operating systems to the drive. Hey, if you are getting value out of this video, then do me a favor by smashing the like button, subscribe if you are new around here, and if you are feeling pumped, then go ahead and share it with your friends as well. Thank you. Now, question of the day, what tool do you use to create a multi-bootable USB drive? Let us know in the comment section below. So I've already downloaded a couple of ISOs, so I'm gonna copy them to the drive. And remember, depending on the size of your drive, you can add as many files as you want. Alright, I'm gonna go to the downloads folder and copy all the ISO files to the Ventoid drive. successfully copied all the files to the Ventoy drive, restart the system and press the ALT key to enter your boot menu. In my case, it is the F11 key. But if you can't find that, you could use the delete key to boot into your BIOS and change the boot order to the Ventoy drive. 
Alright, since I'm using a SanDisk flash drive, I'm gonna scroll down and select the SanDisk drive and hit enter on the keyboard to boot from it. Okay guys, so here you can see the Ventor interface and all the files we copied to the drive. So you can select whichever operating system you want to install and hit the enter key on your keyboard to start the installation process. Okay guys, I have a game at 10 p.m. So if this video was helpful to you, then go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe, drop a comment, share it with your friends, and be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and all that good stuff at LMTechHD02. And if you would like to support the channel, then head over to teesprings.com forward slash stores forward slash LMTechHD, or click on the first link in the description box below. We have more videos coming your way, but for now, we maxed out. Peace!